Good to see you again. The factory sent over the parts that were looking good on the rig. They're being fitted as we speak. Have a look at the report. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome along to the Hungarian Grand Prix and we start off with some fantastic news that our two latest development parts have passed and will be on the car, which is a durability for the gearbox and a durability for the kinetic unit because, uh, you know, I think we need to toughen up on those areas. On to practice and uh, first of all on the track acclimatization test. Um, yeah, despite this massive moment here on the final corner, we still managed to get a... Um, nice score of green overall on the track acclimatization hungary is one of the tracks i feel like i do pretty better of on previous games so hopefully we can be really good around here um, we are using older units though so on the power so um yeah um speed and wasn't a great thing as we got it massively we had a massive moment here i managed to slide the car all the way around the corner like we're playing drift or something but um yeah the power unit um, are not too good and um, this kind of ended our second practice session too much power down and um, yeah I don't know what it was we're just really struggling with the back end around here at certain points anyway on with the next which is the fuel saving and um, we got green in the fuel saving a little bit disappointed that we didn't get purple but um, no still rather happy we did do tire wear but we got purple but we couldn't actually meet the delta so there's no footage of the tire wear unfortunately on to the qualifying pace and we did manage to get a green in the qualifying pace. Um, our target was 11th. So, um, yeah, we're pretty much on target here. Nothing out of the ordinary um, or nothing exceptional is expected of us this weekend. And then we had a massive moment. We got far too greedy on the uh, throttle pedal at the top of the hill and into the barrier. And that brought our practice session to a close at the end of P3 with some substantial damage and work for the mechanics to do. So on to qualifying guys and annoyingly I had like a damage penalty for some reason. I had like to waste a lot of Q1. Um, there was probably was damage to the chassis for some reason. I'm not sure if it was like the crash right at the end of P3 that did it or not. But yeah it was really weird. I've never seen going into a session having repair time um, at the start. But um, hey I guess it is what it is. So on to Q1 once we actually got out the garage and... Um, yeah, as we come across the line here to finish our very first lap, we post a 122.3, which gets us provisional sixth position. But we did go out and run, make another run, and we have improved by um, quite a bit. 121.9 there, improved by about three tenths per second for a solid P6 at the end of Q1. Moving on to Q2, though, uh, as we come across here to uh, finish our first flying lap, it is a 123.2, so a lot slower than our Q1 time. Provisional fourth, but a lot of people still to run here. Um, so we're definitely going to need to go out on another run, which we are here. We're improving slowly, only by about two, two and a, a quarter of a second. So a 122.5 plus his P70, but it is enough to see us through into the final qualifying section. As uh, we go out on our first run in Q3 and... Um, have a massive moment here in the middle sector got on the curb too power too early and um luckily we was able to steer away from the barrier and avoid any damage with a lost time repairing uh but i couldn't improve after my first run this is my first uh and best run in q3 as we come across the line here it's only a 121.8 so um yeah not a great run in q3 and that only saw us to a position eight to start the hungarian grand prix we're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position, and Kimi Raikkonen completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Bottas, Max Verstappen, and Ricardo, Massa, Perez, Ocon, and Carlos Sainz, Grosjean, Hulkenberg, A. Haas, and Alonso, Kvyat, Stroll, Jolien Palmer, and Stoffel van Dorn, Verlein, and Marcus Ericsson rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Okay, you've qualified higher than we expected, so let's try to build on this position throughout the race. So at this point, I've just literally trawled through my footage, and turns out I got a I had a gearbox change. I had a gearbox failure in P2, so I changed my gearbox for uh, P3 and the rest. So that's the reason I got a five place grid penalty. I was totally oblivious to it. Anyway, uh, there is no replay in this unfortunately. I didn't manage to capture the replay for this race. So we are gonna wait here for the five lights to go out. 
to start the Hungarian Grand Prix. We're at five lights and we are racing. And pretty nice um, get away from the line. We kind of making inroads on Grosjean there. As we head down towards the inside in Carlos Sainz's slipstream, can we put one around the outside from P13 all the way to P8 as we squeeze out Ocon there. Verstappen um, going very, very slowly. He's actually caught me out there and um, that's allowed Ocon to get back down the inside. Tiny bit of contact on the front, but nothing that's going to damage us too much. But um, yeah, Max Verstappen going very, very slowly there. Compromised me. I didn't really know which side to go around him and um, we end up losing another place. So we have gained four places on the start. We are in a Force India sandwich right now. And um, now it's just time really to settle down and um, try and uh, get into the groove and make some inroads in the race. And as you can see at this point in the race, we're not really being able to keep up with a leading pack. Um, Perez is keeping up with us and we kind of got a bit of a train falling behind us, but there's quite a gap between us and Ocon here as we come around the um, the hairpin to uh, penultimate corner to finish the lap. Um, so yeah, at this stage of the race, we've not really got any pace. I mean, I have put in like a lap and a half extras fuel um, just so we can uh, use the rich fuel a little bit more, but um, yeah, definitely losing ground here on the leading pack at the end of lap one moving on to lap three and um we've already got somebody in the pits i think it's daniel ricardo is in the pits so that's going to promote us to p9 uh on lap four two seconds Moving on now to the uh, middle of lap four here, and there's actually an incident, and um, Esteban Ocon there has um, unfortunately blown an engine or something, and uh, he is pulled over to the side of the race. Also, we, we got in there, Massa retired at the same point as well. On to lap six here, we're holding P7. Um, it wasn't Ocon that blew the engine, it must have been Massa. I apologize, it must have been Massa. Um, but yeah, uh, this is lap six. Uh, at the end of the first sector, got it massively, massively wrong. And yeah, we got a time penalty for multiple warnings of corner cutting. And that's pretty much us down to the back of the field as um, yeah, the back markers are going past us. Uh, down to P17, just massive. It took, took far too much um, inside, took it way too early as Daniel Ricciardo goes up our inside. And now we are just dead last in the race and I've just now lost all confidence um, in the tyres but um, I think it's starting to be getting a bit slippy there is rain on the way as we uh, ask Jeff for a weather report here Radar suggests some weather is going to hit in around five minutes time so stay on your toes so yeah the rain is coming and I think the track is already starting to get a little bit slippy and sliding it's making conditions very difficult to drive so this could play into our favour. Everybody around us is pitting. If we can hold on to these super soft tyres for a little bit longer and um, until the rain is really coming, then we can hopefully just go straight on to the intermediates as we make a few more places up to P15 now as cars in front of us come in for their first stops at the end of lap 7. End of lap 8 and more of the same again really. More people in the pits. So um, yeah, the race is really coming back to us. The tyre wear is okay. We're only at like 33%. So we're up to P12. Uh, at the beginning of lap nine we're going to try and now hang it out for these um intermediate conditions and hopefully maintain the place uh got van dorm in front of us we've had some quite a few ding dong battles with this, uh, van dorm but we've got max verstappen here right on the back of us at the back of um at the end of lap nine beginning of lap 10 as we make up another place from a pitted car try and go down the inside of um, Van Dorm here into the pits uh, into the pits into the points sorry guys sorry I'm getting all excited and everything and um, yeah so you know damage limitation we're not doing too bad now hopefully we can sort of bring this back um, into uh, play but yeah track definitely slipping out and I'm gonna ask Jess here to see whereabouts that rain is this rain could be with us for a while light rain conditions for the foreseeable future so according to Jeff, it is already raining on the track. Um, so 
personally for me I think that's a, a good enough indication that um, I'm going to take the gamble and head out onto the intermediates probably a lap or two a little bit early but um, I'm really struggling now with these super soft tyres um, we've got the wear and the track is very very greasy so I don't think I can hang this out for much longer as we um, move now on to lap 11 we are going to try and hang it out for a little bit longer we're up to p8 because of cars again in front of me pitting but um yeah we've got quite a train forming behind us now so uh, definitely i think it is going to be the right time to pit anytime soon uh on to lap 11 and um yeah there's just no grip on these tires anymore we we got it massively wrong went out wide and then a train of um three cars just come tearing past us not going to challenge it at all and um just gonna you know pray and pray and pray that we can get into the pits onto these intermediate tires and uh, but we're not coming in yet really i thought i'd come in by now lap 11 and we're still on the same set of super soft tires that we started the race on um there's no wonder we are really struggling um at the moment but um back in the point at this point so the race could still come back to us could still come back to us p9 at the moment um at the beginning of lap 12 but um, yeah, the, these tyres are really very like third hand as we make the call to Jeff that we are going to box this lap. And um, yeah, you can see it's, it's a combination of wrecked tyres and slippy situations as we move now to the end of the lap. And um, I think we've lost a play. I think it was up to P8, wasn't we? I don't know. Anyway, we come into the pits now on uh, the end of lap 12 to jump onto the intermediate tyres here. And hopefully... We can make this gamble work it's very very um it's very very slippy as we get a five second stop go penalty unfortunately for speeding in the pit lane i was a little bit annoyed here really because um um it wouldn't let me serve it here so i've got to come into the pit so yeah and uh, we massively slow there on the release so um yeah time to try and make the gamble work can we make the gamble work no is the answer I don't know what happened there. I, I managed to get this replay, um, but as you see in the, in the there, it is raining. So I think going to intermediate tyres was probably the right decision. But um, yeah, I just lightly touched the throttle, almost like what we had in Russia. Lightly touched the throttle, the car totally spun, and um, yeah, that was the terminal accident injury. Enough said about that, though, guys. That is us out of the race, unfortunately. No points for us today, but Savatti and Vettel won the race with Bottas in second, Raikkonen in third, and our teammate Roman Grosjean came in 10th place to bring us one solitary point for the team. Uh, I don't know what the standings are. I haven't got footage of the standings. I just think I was that disgruntled. I just literally quit the game uh, at that point. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe down below. And uh, we'll be back real soon with the Belgium Grand Prix. But until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.